Hi everyone. So I actually bought this cookbook specifically for this recipe and actually hoping I, it would have cake recipes in it. But I wanted to see if I could find a low carb ginger cookie to make for Christmas. So there's the nutrition info. And here's what I'm going to need. Almond flour. It calls for, I think it's pronounced ethereal, so I'm using the same one of butter, unsalted in temperature, an egg, ginger, ground dried ginger, that I couldn't even taste, cinnamon, that's nutmeg, and there's cloves, still looks like coffee greens to me. Salt, and it calls for vanilla essence. I've never seen that, so I'm using imitation vanilla instead. And I'm going to mix all the dry together first. The recipe doesn't say to, but I am. Just mix them together with a fork. Okay. Now the recipe also says to mix, beat all the wet ingredients first. I'm going to mix the butter and the sweetener together first actually and just mix this together and, okay spilled over the side of the bowl and don't mix now I'll add the vanilla and the egg I can't believe that egg was enough to actually dissolve all that sweetener. Okay. Scrape the bowl, and I'm going to now add in the dry, and I'm doing it in two batches. I really didn't think this would incorporate either. I don't know if you can see, but all the ginger sank to the bottom of the bowl. And here's where I thought it wouldn't combine. Doesn't it look like I'm packing down wet sand right there? Okay, there we go. Trying to get it all mixed. All right. And I divided it into eight. The recipe says it makes eight servings, but it doesn't tell you how many cookies it makes. So I divided it into eights, and then divide each of those in half, and I should have divided it again because it says to make small cookies, and I actually end up having to bake these longer. So I'm just rolling them into little balls and putting them on the sheet. They still look like wet sand. And I'm trying to make room because I don't want to have to put them in a second sheet. Okay, come on. Making more room. And I'm just making a long one to go along the bottom. There we go. I baked them at 350. There we go. And that took me about 15 minutes, I'd say. The recipe called for 12, but it just kind of fell apart. for watching.